This lecture in Climate and Earth 401 is about mass conservation and the mass conservation equation for the atmosphere, which we usually call the continuity equation. You can go back to an earlier lecture that introduces the underlying physical principles of mass conservation if you need to. The conservation of mass leads to this continuity equation which suggests the continuous nature of the fluid. There's no holes in the fluid. And this equation describes the time rate of change of mass. Since we usually consider mass per unit volume, what we're really talking about is the density as the dependent variable which we are going to be considering. We're going to rely once again upon our idealized parcel which we can think of as a little particle of atmosphere. Its density is mass per unit volume. The volume of our parcel, which, we, which will be considered in a rectangular geometry, is delta x, delta y, delta z. And for the mass continuity equation, we're going to be paying a lot of attention to the area of the interfaces of the volume. For example, the interface on the right would have an area of delta y times delta z. We will start this from an Eulerian point of view. Therefore, our parcel is a fixed volume in space and fluid flows through it. And what is shown here is the fluid flowing in the x direction. If you consider a volume like this, then the amount of mass that flows into it is going to be proportional to the velocity at which it is flowing. It's also going to be proportional to the area of the interface that it's flowing through. To formalize that concept, we're going to consider a quantity called the mass flux, which will be rho times the velocity vector u. This idea of a flux will appear again and again. For example, a vorticity flux, an energy flux. And in all of these cases, by flux, we mean a quantity that is multiplied by a velocity, which if you think about a stream of particles going past you, the mass that will be going past you will be related to the velocity, how fast that mass is going past you. Rho u is mass flux at that point in the center, which is marked x, y, z. And u is the velocity in the x direction, so this is the mass flux in the x direction. Its units are kilograms per second times 1 over meters squared. You see that coming from kilograms per meter cubed, which is density times the velocity, which is meters per second. What that tells you is that flux is mass per unit, area per unit time. If we were to look where the arrows are drawn here on the right hand side of the box, then we're looking at the mass flux out of the box and the equation on the bottom is once again using our Taylor series approach. It is to estimate the mass flux out as being related to the mass flux at the center of the box plus a linear term, the d rho u dx times delta x over 2 to estimate the quantity at the interface that is delta x over 2 distance from the center of the box. And then we're going to ignore the higher order terms. What we will do now is look at the interface on the left hand side. You would call this the upstream side because of the direction that our velocity is moving the parcels. And we will use the same approach and we will arrive at the equation at the bottom of rho u minus d rho u dx times the delta x over 2 plus the higher order terms, again using our Taylor series approximation and using 
the fact that our coordinate system will now be looking in the negative direction and hence we have a sign different than in the previous slide. So the question is what is the change of mass inside that fixed volume? The mass on the downstream side on the right is going out and the mass on the upstream side on the left is coming in and hence what we will do is we will add up the contributions that are going in and out of the box. So the change of mass that is in the box is going to be this difference which is down at the bottom of the page which will then look like minus partial of rho u with respect to x times delta x delta y delta z which is the volume. So we are looking there at the mass. We're then going to do the exact same calculation in the y direction and in the z direction, recognizing that the flux in the y direction will be rho v, the flux in the z direction will be rho w. After we take the difference of the masses in and the masses out, we will recognize that as the partial of rho with respect to t within the box, so the local change of density within the box, and what that is equal to is minus del dot rho u, or the divergence of the mass flux. You will see this sort of equation again and again, where you're going to see the local time rate of change of a quantity is going to be related to the divergence of a flux. This leads us to what we call the Eulerian form of the continuity equation. If you need to refresh yourself on the Eulerian and Lagrangian frames of reference, then there is a separate lecture on that subject. So the Eulerian form of the equation, as is presented on the previous slide, is the local time rate of change of the density is equal to minus del dot rho u. Del dot rho u is the divergence of the flux. The other point of view, or the other frame of reference, is the Lagrangian frame of reference. And in that, the parcel is moving. And as the parcel moves, it changes shape. If you look at the right interface on this, and particularly at the line here, you will see that that line has stretched out as it has moved. That gives you some idea that the volume is changing, and the volume is changing because these interfaces are stretching or contracting in one way or another, and you can think of them as either diverging or converging. Going back to the previous equation, which introduced the divergence of a flux, thinking of these interfaces as stretching and contracting and the meaning of the words convergence and divergence, you can start to develop a feel for the mathematical expression of a physical process. The homework exercise that you will receive will ask you to derive the Lagrangian form of the continuity equation which is given down at the bottom, the one over rho, big D rho dt is equal to minus del dot u. And notice that's the divergence of the velocity, and the divergence of the velocity should intuitively become how is the volume stretching or contracting a particular interface. The homework exercise will be to derive the Lagrangian form starting with the Eulerian form, I will just say in advance, to use the chain rule to go from the above equation to the equation below. This gives you the Lagrangian form of the continuity equation, which is the change in mass density following the motion is equal to the divergence. So the divergence is a decrease in density, and a convergence is an increase in density the minus sign in this equation is something that you will need to pay attention to. In this figure of the moving parcel, I've drawn the little arrows 
over there on the right to show this idea of the shape changing in this case as the velocity along that interface diverges. And that is the introduction of the mass conservation equation called the continuity equation in atmospheric science.